Zulu Capone and War on Level 22 is a bandit walkthrough for the Shadow Syndicate DEFCON 702 group. A program is running automatically at regular interview intervals from Cron, the time based job schedule. Look at Cron D configuration to see what the command uh, what command is being executed. Uh, let's copy that. No, looking at shell scripts written by other people is a very useful skill. The script for this level is intentionally made easy to read. If you're having problems understanding what it does, try executing it to see the debug information it prints. Okay, this is a this is a tricky one here. So let's go to that directory and what bandit two we want to pass. We're for bandit twenty three, so we're going to run that. Uh, Control Shift C to copy. Now let's cat that out. Control Shift V to paste. And that's the script that it's running. Let's copy that. And cat that out. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. It runs a who am I and assigns that to the variable name. Uh, but who am I is bandit 22 so then the rest of the script will be executing uh, using bandit 22's information but we want bandit 23's information so uh, the easiest way to do this level is to copy this well, first of all let's run this copying password file Etsy bandit pass bandit 22 to this directory in the temp uh, directory and here's the problem right here though we don't want the password for bandit 22 we want the password for bandit 23 to be copied to the temp directory if we look at this that's the same password for the level that we're already on uh, that's bandit 22's password we need bandit 23's so what we need to do is we need to just kind of uh, pick and choose what we run it from here what we want to run we're going to copy this paste it here and we're going to change this to bandit 23 Right. So run that. Now this is the MD5 sum of this text right here. So we're going to look in the temp folder now for this directory. So cat temp paste that in there and there it is. So we didn't have uh, the proper permissions to run this script as Bandit 23. So what we did is uh, knowing that this part would be the MD5 sum of Bandit 23, we just ran this ourselves to get that MD5 hash and then manually entered that in in the uh, looking in the temp directory and hoping that it was there and it was so go ahead and copy this password and let's move on to the next level